I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows. As you can see, I have nothing in my eyebrows, so I'm going to zoom you in to show you how I do it. First of all, I'm going to show you the tools that I'll be using. Okay, first of all, I'll be using um, a tweezer man tweezer. Um, then I'm going to use hair scissors. I'm just using a spoolie. And then to shape the brows afterwards, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pomade in medium brown. And the Zueva 322 Brow Line. So now I've zoomed you guys in a little bit and you can see the situation of my brow. Um, underneath there are a lot of hairs and on the top I have this naked baldy spot. So what I'm gonna do now, so I'm gonna remove all the hairs here, all the hairs here and then afterwards I'm gonna cut them. Now you can see all the hairs that I want to be gone. That's what we're gonna do now. And even though not all these hairs are really visible, I find at the end it really makes a difference whether they're there or not. done with tweezing my brows as you can tell or not but I can tell they already look so much better the next step is cutting them yes <laughs> and I'm going to do it with scissors and spoolie and basically what I'm doing is I brush them up like this against the hairs so that they get all fluffy and then take my scissors and cut off everything that is coming above my brow you see this line that's what I mean with the brow and every hair that comes above, I cut. And I recommend if you're doing this the first time, not do not go overboard because you can cut it too short and then you just have to wait until it grows back. I do not recommend. So yeah, just... <laughs> See the difference? I find this one, well now it's a little bit sparse but we're gonna fill it in afterwards but just hair wise this look this looks more neat than this brow. This brow looks like a mess. So we'll go and do the same on the other brow and as you can tell this gives a very clean look to your brows already. If you have really filled in brows and I mean filled in with hairs and don't really have any bald spots like I do you can leave it at this um, I mean then your brows will look amazing and I'd be super jealous of you but for me that's not the case so <laughs> now I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills and the Zueva brow line brush and I'm going to fill them in so first of all again spoolie gonna brush them taking my brow pomade dipping it in straight into the pot uh, I don't really do anything else and I'm just gonna start filling in my brows <laughs> I know 
some people have this hair stroke technique and stuff, but to be honest, I don't. I don't. I've tried it a couple of times, but for one reason or another, I can't get it to look natural on me. So, this is what I do. Basically, I create a shape that I like and I fill it in. If you don't really know where your brows need to be, if you have really ugly brows, um, there's this rule of the golden ratio, you can do with a pencil and it goes like this So you have this and this is where your brow should start uh, Then you go like this Through your eye and this should be the highest point of your brow and then you do this and That's where your brow should end um, I don't always do it as you can see I don't go as far at the moment but that's totally up to you but that's but that's like a, a guide you can use to do your brows and to really show you the difference now I'm going to use some brow gel on the finished brow this is just clear brow gel nothing with color so you can see the difference um, between my two brows now versus the plucked and trimmed one but not filled in yet well, I think it's a huge difference <laughs> so now I'm gonna do the other brow um, basically with the same technique So this is the finished result of my brows. Um, I hope you found this helpful. Um, I remember when I first started doing my brows, I went through a lot of phases. I had the very thin brows, I had the thick brows, I had a lot of <laughs> different brows. So I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And yeah, if you try out this technique or if it was helpful, please share it with me on social media. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Thank you for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.